Today we're going to talk about referencing and how to use the library's referencing guide for your assignments. There are two parts to referencing, the citations within your paper and the reference list at the end of your paper. You must include a reference any time you use another person's work, ideas, or quotes in your writing. The way you format your references will change depending on the referencing style you use, but each in-text citation should always have a corresponding entry in the reference list. If you don't know which referencing style to use, check your unit guide or ask your unit coordinator. There are three steps you'll need to follow to create your reference list. Finding and identifying your resources, recording information about the resources, and formatting your references according to your referencing style. So say you have a resource you want to reference in your assignment. First, you'll need to determine what it is. Is it a book? a journal article, a website, or another type of resource. Once you know the kind of resource you'll have, you'll need to record information about it. This will include who, who created the resource. This is usually the author, but it could also be an organization, an editor, or an artist. What, what is the title of the resource? For journal articles, you'll need the title of the article and the title of the journal it was published in. For book chapters, you'll need the name of the chapter and the name of the book. Where? Where was the source published? For print resources, this means the place of publication and the name of the publisher. For online resources, this means the web address or the digital object identifier or DOI. When? What year was the source published? For resources like newspaper articles, you'll need to record the exact day. And whatever the resource type, don't forget to record the page numbers of any quotes you use. Once you've collected the information you need, you're ready to create a reference. To find the referencing guides, start on the library homepage. Scroll down to Referencing Guides, and then select your style guide. The All Examples tab will show you how to write in-text citations and reference list entries for a range of resources including books, journals, websites, conference papers, images, and newspaper articles. Always check that the example material type is the same as the resource type you're using. If you need help with in-text citations, the Citation Examples page breaks the process down step by step and shows you how to put citations into your writing. If you need help with the reference list, the Sample Reference List page will show you how to format your list correctly and has tips on putting the list together. So now, let's practice referencing. Here's a resource I've found on library search that I want to use in my assignment. First, I need to determine what type of resource it is. From my search results, I can see that it's a journal article. So now, I'll need to record information about it. Here's the title of the article, the authors, the journal title, the year of publication, the volume number, the issue number, the page numbers, and the DOI. Once I have all my information, I can go back to the referencing guide and find the right example to double check I have everything I need. Then I can use the example to put my information in the right order and format it correctly. Don't forget to check the use of punctuation and capital letters when putting the reference together. Maybe I also want to use my textbook as a reference. I already know what kind of source it is, so I can start looking for the referencing information. I found the title, author, and publisher on the front cover, but I'll need to check inside the book to find out where and when it was published. Once I've found those details, I'll go back to the referencing guide again to make sure I have all the information I need and to see how to format my citation and reference. If you need any help with referencing, or with using the referencing guides, ask a librarian.